time and time again, the old idiom, history repeats itself, bears repeating. <laughs> Military leaders will continue to attack Russia during the winter, the economy will always have its busts, and, I'm sorry to be the bringer, like the bearer of bad news, and this might be shocking, the Astros will never have a winning record. <laughs> <laughs> However, for us, history repeating itself would be a blessing. Emmanuel has provided wonderful experiences for us, and from preschool to being TAs, our, classes, our class has remained close and consistent, and at least speaking for myself, has been a significant part of what makes Judaism fun, interesting, and certainly exciting. I was told to make this as personal as I could, but I think it would be impossible to sum up almost, um, actually more than, a decade of Hebrew school antics in five minutes. <laughs> For the 19 of us graduating, we all have our own stories to tell that are worth at least five minutes of ours and your time. So please, ask us about it during the reception. <laughs> so, for my five minutes, I can only give a cursory guide into our collective past. As students at Emmanuel, you are expected to be up for anything. From being pseudo-married in elementary school, <laughs> to having middle school meditation sessions, to even having an upper school matzo ball eating contest, every year has upped the ante from what to expect from Jewish learning and participation. We've used Mouse as a class textbook with Mr. Duke, and we've learned, and this is yet again another surprise, about the little-known historical Texan Jewish community, Miss Stone. Our time at Green for our confirmation retreat included an ethical debate with Rabbi Walter's alternate ego, which frustrated as well as informed us. And we've even had some fun travels together. Once, we visited the Emmanuel Cemetery to assist with the burial of some of our rundown sedours, which was very significant, and another reason to not judge a book by its cover. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, over all these years, I felt as if I've learned how to be active in our community and our religion in interesting and insightful ways. All of these experiences have culminated in that, that reason to be Jewish. I'm sure for most of the congregation, it is incredibly hard to believe that five years have passed since we have been on this bima and read from the Torah, chanting and leading services as our and bat mitzvahs. It is impossible to forget the amount of hard work we all did to get in front of everyone, the amount of support that finally allowed us to read the Torah, and the sense of community we must have all tangibly felt when we had everyone at service read responsibly. Our bar and bat mitzvah reaffirmed a commitment that we, as evidenced by us being on the stage before you, still hold extremely valuable and remain and promise to remain consistent with for the rest of our lives. As far as I can tell, it's rare to find kids that enjoy doing things as much as the class you see before you. Being a part of the Jewish or even civic community is not a passive endeavor, and our past shows that we are willing to engage the world around us. As members of our community, as bar and bat mitzvahs, as Emmanuel seniors, we have shown that we have what it takes to continue the impressive history of Judaism, especially in an environment that has provided us such phenomenal opportunities. As we all leave home next year, it should be everyone's wish that history repeat itself once more and provide us such favorable conditions for learning, growth, and community wherever we all end up. Although we were separated at the beginning of this year, when second semester came around, we were quick to reassemble. This semester, as one class, we did not let the separation of first semester affect our community. We have done many wonderful things, including Jewish cooking, learning about how we can stay connected to our Judaism in our future lives, and we have learned about different Jewish life experiences through a variety of speakers. We have learned the importance of continuing to live a Jewish life in college when we met as a class at the local Hillel building. While listening to the director of Houston Jewish Funerals, we realized how important it is to always be prepared and live in the moment. From, gen from the genetics counselor and representative of the Harris County Hospital District Trauma Center, we learn the importance of being aware and knowing what we are at risk for in certain situations. All of these programs have brought us closer together as a kahila, a community, 
by strengthening the bond that we have through our Judaism. Aside from our class on Wednesday nights, a handful of us get the chance to spend every Sunday together as teacher's assistants. Having been a TA for the past four years, I personally know the benefit of getting this extra time to spend with all of the other TAs in my grade. Although we are all split up between our classes, we never take for granted the crazy happenings where we pass by each other and at least give a quick high five if we cannot stop to talk. Yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery, today is a gift, and that's why they call it the present. This quote, more than anything, I believe, perfectly sums up our class. I personally have not been with the class for very long but with such an amazing group of people, it feels like I have been here my entire life. The people in this class are so inviting and willing to accept new faces. Not once did I ever feel like I was just an unwanted outsider. The one thing that I think our class is best at is ma maintaining amazing relationships with not only each other, but also our clergy and staff. The rabbis in Cantor have been here through all our years, along with all of the Healthman staff and all of the incredible teachers at Healthman that we have gotten the pleasure to know. To this day, however, we still maintain strong connections even though our clergy changed mid-high school, and that is one reason why I'm so proud to call myself a member of this class. The main thing that I've always loved about the future is that in the future. While the past and present are set in stone because they have happened and are happening, the future is yet to happen. That gives us the power to control what direction it goes in on an individual level, and with a little more work and perhaps luck, on the level of whatever community we find ourselves in. However, the power that comes with the future is inextricably linked to its uncertainty. We can never truly know what will happen, even with the best of information and experience. But when we are facing a future that will physically separate us from our homes, our families, and our communities, this uncertainty becomes daunting, even terrifying. It is appropriate that we consider the implications of this in and with respect to Emmanuel, because it is, in essence, all three, a home, a family, and a community to each and every one of us. It is a difficult process to lose any of those things. But I have some very good news. We are not losing any of them. Emmanuel and the people we have come to know and love within it will be here or there, no matter where we go. In addition, we will never fully leave this place. Pictures from our consecration, confirmation, and graduation will adorn the building's walls, always. When that, whatever the future holds, we will always be a part of Emmanuel, as Emmanuel will always be a part of us. However, we may encounter feelings of detachment, being separated from the communities of our childhood. Fortunately, there will be a built-in community, no matter where you go, a community that transcends all geographic boundaries, the Jewish community. Even if there will be no old and familiar Emmanuel at the next stage of our lives, there is bound to be a synagogue, or at the very least, a small yet vibrant student association that can make us feel at home. No matter what the future brings, our faith and traditions can still carry on. Although we have come to so thoroughly associate this building with Judaism, it was not the synagogue that chose this religion for us. Ultimately, it was not Emmanuel or our parents or our grandparents, it was us. We made this decision to carry on the traditions of our ancestors and learn from millennia of wisdom, and it is our choice, me, it is up to us to decide how much farther we want to go. And if we ever feel daunted by the weight of these decisions, we know that Emmanuel will always be a visit away, and that we will continue to be enriched by every moment we spend in this space.